Something I usually try to think about a lot is like character designs and stuff like that. Shape language I find particularly important when it comes to actually producing something that can really communicate a character's personality. Things like triangles, circles, and rectangles are usually the core of uh, character design. Something that I particularly admire is the work of Craig McCracken. You know, the, the guy who made classics like, you know, fucking Powerpuff Girls. I don't know if you've heard of it. Things like the girls' juxtaposition of their round, soft shapes to the hard edges and sharp angles of the rest of the world particularly make their soft personalities stand out all the more when it comes to their place in the world. Something that I also think is a little undermined is uh, just the really well thought out design of the professor particularly. Uh, professor Utonium has primarily rectangular shapes to kind of signify his confident uh, and responsible fatherly figure in the girl's life, but his round eyes and soft expression usually help uh, assist in him not being anything that's strict but very loving and showing nothing but pure care towards his small small little bug-eyed children and I just think Craig McCracken's work is just so significant to the cartoon sphere and it's such a shame that certain works of recent have gone so under the radar. Wander Over Yonder had a bit of a- it was pretty popular, but Disney just kind of didn't want to give it the respect that any of the cartoons they have deserve. So it was very exciting for me to see Kid Cosmic and uh, it have its full arc with such satisfying emotional gratification. I particularly love the, the comic book influence that went into everything. It ties the themes of superheroes together uh, when it comes to subverting the usual tropes of its genre. I am not using a speed paint that's actually <laughs> uh, relevant to what I'm talking about. I just wanted to ramble a bit about how much I just really love cartoon design and thematic elements within a certain piece of work. And Craig McCracken is just an ex excellent example of this because he just does such a great job of portraying the personalities of his characters. Really well thought out lore for Kid Cosmic particularly and how much it all ties together at the end. It's just so satisfying. Not to mention just the really well done character interactions and character voices and the really well done direction which I know he's not responsible for there's a lot of people on staff but the way it all comes together makes it all the more solid and feels so complete by the time you finish it it's so good I don't draw a lot of fan art nowadays, which is unfortunate because I used to all the time back when I watched nothing but OKKO, OK 24-7, 365, it was really obnoxious <laughs> how much I love OKKO. OK <coughs> but character design is just so significant. Um, something that I tried to do when coming up with some potential outfit ideas for my persona because I'm still figuring out I, I like the I like I would like to have alternative outfits if I proceed with uh, making an avatar which will be more work in the future but uh, I actually kind of like rigging but as of recent I've been thinking a lot about not only character design but also my sense of fashion and like whether I'm a goth or a punk and it's giving me a bit of an aesthetic uh, existential crisis <laughs> because I thought I was a goth for a long time but then I would look into goth music and stuff and go you know I don't really like I don't really like a lot of this stuff it's a lot of like <laughs> kind of feel and I end up vibing a lot more with like punk music, which I find very interesting the differences between goth and punk and how that can translate into character design. The one that I'm making is much more goth influenced. Punk is a lot more casual, I've observed. It's a lot more homemade and goth, uh, as of recent years, has become much more uh, intricate and uh, I would say kind of expensive. <laughs> you can always find stuff secondhand, I encourage that, absolutely. But goth has like much a much more sleek kind of feel to it, much more manicured. And I don't do that. I just do a graphic t-shirt 
shirt, these boxy shorts that I gave my character, uh, uh, chains, that's about it. <laughs> I, I work all day, so I haven't been able to wear my boots all that much, but um, when designing this character, I particularly wanted to integrate a lot of triangles and rectangles within the design, just to kind of help enforce the, the goth aesthetic. Because something that goth is particularly known for is its uh, thorny nature. So I thought that would be a good idea to continually use that and kind of reel back on the softer shapes of the original design. Very rounded on the regular dude, but um, I wanted to make this sharper. Um, but character design is, is intricate and it all depends on what genre you're going for. I have a character that is such an enigma to me because he has such a strange design and he's such a strange character that I've made. His name is Edgar Diceroy. He's a Powerpuff Girls OC. <laughs> and I ship him with Professor Utonium. He's 35 years old, going through a divorce and has shared custody of his daughter. <laughs> and he's so normal. He's an etymologist, and that's the most exciting part about him. He's otherwise just a very sad man who unfortunately resembles Show Tucker, so it's constant joke between me and Caden that he actually just killed his family. So... <laughs> Something that's particularly strange about Edgar, too, is that, like, I've had a difficult time getting his hair right. I wanted to imitate some of um, sadness from inside out into his design, you know, that droopy kind of like always hunched over, trying to shrink into himself kind of look, always kind of looking down and not able to like look people in the eye, which kind of the slope of his nose, his the roundness of his chin, uh, his general hunched um, nature with his hands full to together or like up a little bit like he's trying to take up as little space as possible but his hair he started out bald <laughs> he started out bald and wore a fedora and it was so strange he was also just a little longer and um, very odd looking but as I drew him more, he kind of developed sort of like this Danny Phantom kind of shape. And it, it, it looks right on him, but I can't explain why. Because shape-wise, I feel like it should be shorter. But if I shorten it, it's going to look weird. <laughs> and it's very, like, rounded and pointed. And it does match the shape language of his nose. You could argue that it's just repeating the shape from his nose onto his hair. But it, I, I don't know. Is it too perky? I don't know. <laughs> He's a strange character for sure because all of my other characters are usually rather like much younger, much more spunky or have like stronger personalities. But this is just um like a 30 something year old man with depression and a mortgage he has to pay. <laughs> I, is this my future for character design? Am I just gonna make boring people and just do dramas where they realize their homosexuality? <laughs> I, I really want to make stuff involving Edgar, but I, I don't have the energy to. Uh, instead, I sit around making potential outfits for my non-existent VTuber rig. So, you know, such is life, I guess. All of this stemmed from ranting about Craig McCracken. I, I tried really hard to make Edgar fit into the universe by copying the simplistic reliance on uh, geometric shapes, and I feel like I succeeded for the most part. I've always took inspiration from those simplistic, very like stylized uh, applications of character design, while also trying to have a variety of different types of characters. If I drew Edgar in any other art style, he would not stand out at all, but because of how I designed him in the universe he's supposed to belong in, I feel like I have succeeded at least in making at least a solid character design, not anything that's particularly interesting, but definitely one that I'm very happy with. It's very strange going from a very like detailed anime inspired character to something that's just so simple but effective and that's just the fun part of character design that I really enjoy but uh, when it came to this uh, 
speed paint that I'm showing you right here. Uh, it was just kind of like a fun journey. Um, well, it's kind of like an exercise of character design as well. Because I tried to still maintain the personality of just a chill dude who sits in his room while looking cute. You know, I don't think anything is really going to come of this design because, you know, rigging takes a long time. It's very possible. I'm just going to change my mind later on and like refine the design a bit more. I did pull- you, you are watching me pull this out of my ass. So, yeah. But, uh, that's all I had to- oh my god, is my pop filter not working? But, um... That's all I really had to say. Sorry about my fancy goddamn words about character design. I just really wanted to ramble about it at fucking one o'clock in the morning again. Goodbye. <laughs>